Hey YouTube land, it's Ty Chandras again, welcoming you back to another action figure review. Now this is for a figure that I know, well, I don't know much about the base story behind this figure, but I know the kind of base behind the properties, as in Street Fighter and Power Rangers. I, as far as I'm aware, this, these are based on, there's a few figures in this line and they're based on a video game or some sort of like uh online multiplayer game or something along those lines where it's like a versus game and it's power rangers x street fighter so this is uh ryu or ryu uh i know for years i used to call him ryu i think it's ryu is how you pronounce it or it's the other way around i'm sure i'm going to butcher his name halfway through this but this is morphed ryu or ryu crimson hawk ranger so these are being produced by hasbro and I picked this up recently uh, as, uh, from, well, I got this from Big Bad Toy Store. I had it on pre-order and it came in a while back and I got it shipped. But um, just because I like the Lightning Collection, it's part of the Lightning the Power Rangers Lightning Collection brand. So I have picked up a couple of Lightning Collection figures. Most of which have been the kind of crossover stuff, which I have done reviews for, which have been the Turtles uh, crossovers. Which is ironic because I haven't done too many figures based on the actual Power Rangers themselves. Like I do have some of them. I Here's my standard yellow which is actually, this is the Aisha version not the Trini version which came in the two pack with Scorpina. Uh, but you get some nice artwork of Ryu on the side. And then you got an image of the figure and accessories that he comes with on the back. And then you got an image of Ryu as he appears in various kind of normal Street Fighter media where he has the little red bandana, the kind of, um, was it the sparring gloves sort of thing going on. And he's gi. He's kind of white gi. You can just about um, see it on him. It's the same image that's up in the corner of the box. But moving the box out of the side, you do get a good few accessories with this guy. So... Straight out off the bat, you do get a display stand with him, which is interesting. It's a display stand that doubles as a stand for his blast effects, or at least two of the blast effects. Now, unfortunately, you can't put two bolt blast effects in at the same time. You can only do one at a time. So there is this peg. It does tend to pop out a lot on my one. I'm not sure if it's the way it's intended, but it does pop out. There is a ball joint at the top of this. It's done in a sort of semi-translucent clear plastic. So these are intended for his Hadouken Blast and his Phoenix, I'm assuming it's Crimson Hawk Fire Blast or whatever you want to call it. Now, when I first got this, I was kind of trying to figure out how does this attach to the figure or how does it go on the figure. It's very hard to kind of see, but just here on, depending which way you're looking at it, on the eagle head... Uh, I would say that's the right hand side, depending if it's le it could be left, depending which way you're holding it. But just down here by one of the flame effects, there's actually a, a hole, which is intended to pop into this. Ooh, see, as I said, this intends to pop off. So just be careful. It yes, has to go in a good bit. Hopefully I won't break it. It does tend to be a bit finicky to get it to work. So it does pop in, you can put this on it. It does rotate around on the ball joint a bit, so you can kind of position it a bit. It does, it's not put in all the way because I don't want to overstress this ball peg. But then you have the same thing for the Hadouken effect, or Hadouken. So it's probably just easier if I just take this off, pop that in, if it will go in for me. See, so it's bending this, the neck of this while I'm trying to put it in, so I don't want to overstretch it or over force it in case it breaks on me so you just have to do it slowly there we go Ooh, that was nightmarish but you can have them holding putting the hadouken in and you can actually position these hands in a way that it looks like he's firing it sort of so you can have him standing behind it you kind of have to have him standing kind of more upright for it instead of he's kind of angled Pose, but you can get him to look like he's firing this thing off which is pretty cool so there is that he does come with two alternate hands 
which are simply just closed fist punching hands for both left and right. He does have pretty much all the articulation of a standard uh, black, uh, I was going to say black series, lightning collection figure. So his head is on double ball joint. So he has a ball joint at the base of the helmet. Then he has a uh, ball joint at the base of the neck. He has butterfly joints in the shoulders. His arms can go up that much. They can rotate around, but his armor piece does get in the way. I don't think it's removable from what I can see. It looks... It could probably heat it up somehow. It doesn't look like there's, um, you know, it will pop off. But you just move the hands up and you can just kind of bend them out of the way. And you can rotate it around. He does have his trademark little bandana thing. He's, the back of it is on a bit of a, uh, on an articulation point. So you can have it windswept if you want. Or you can just leave it down behind his helmet, whichever way you want to do it. His arms have the bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. His wrists are hinged with a single hinge and rotate on that peg. He has an upper diaphragm joint. He has a lower waist joint. Now, he doesn't have anything in the waist for the waist articulation. You're supposed to use this upper diaphragm joint for it uh, to get, you know, side to side. He has kind of hips that drop down a bit to give you a bit more range of movement. This belt piece does kind of getting away a small bit it's a solid piece so it does kind of it, it will move out of the way it just it can get in the way when you're moving it but it should just go back into place he has thigh articulation double jointed knees if i can do that on screen which is they're fairly tight on my one he actually has a boot cut he has the ankle articulation rocker ankle articulation so he has a hinge for the back and then you rocker at the front of it. And then he can do splitties that much. So you can actually do the uh, Van Damme split, was it? And here comes up one other accessory, which is this weird flame effect that basically his foot sit sets into. So it's designed to fit on his left foot. And as you see in the box, he's kind of like doing a powered up fire kick type thing or you can just have him doing a fireball kick whichever way you want to do it it does look pretty cool you will need i imagine you will need the uh the stand to help pull this off unless you can let's see if we can get him doing exactly as it is on the box probably won't balance but we'll see Oop. Mm -mm. His leg has to be down. I think his leg has to be forward a bit. Back a bit. Oh, no. We got him to balance doing the pose, practically the pose on the box. So he can get him to do it. He does have peg holds on both feet. And as I said, if you want to just have him on his display base, you can do that. The only difference is it's like. You can't really have this on, which is probably why this comes out so easily. Because it just makes it really hard for him to stand with this thing in the way. But he can stand on that, on his base, if you want him to. So, just for a size comparison, we'll bring in some other 6-inch scale figures. I'll just make them a bit more neutral. So starters since i have had her there earlier we'll bring in the aisha power ranger we have one of the hoth rebel troopers uh we have from the gi joe range we have roadblock who is a big figure so he does stand a good bit taller than him and do i have anything else from Another six inch figure line. Oh, yes, I do. Of course, his backpack has fallen off, but I do have one of the. I have the Mandalorian Death Watch uh, Trooper. So you can see the scale of him. Pretty good figure. All in all, he's um, pretty cool. There is Chun Li, is the other figure that's available at the moment. Uh, there is a Wave 2, which has, I believe, I think it's Cammy and uh, Ken both as morphed rangers as well i don't think they've uh, either they're either shipping soon or they will be hopefully released early next year 
uh, if you're watching this at the time of this recording, it's around, it's just near Christmas 2022, so it will be probably 2023, maybe when they get released, I don't know, but hopefully they do get released shortly, so there you go guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick video review for the Morphed Rangers Street Fighter X Lightning Collection Ryu, or the Crimson Hawk was it crimson hawk ranger um the helmet is pretty cool as well you can see the hawk design on it which does kind of indicate that we might get those um oh, i'm trying to remember the name of them there were super sentai rangers which were all bird um bird themed uh, i remember having a jeep from them uh, years ago when like Power Rangers were a huge thing in the 90s I didn't know wh where it came from because it wasn't actually Power Rangers it was just like one of those import things that one of our local stores kind of ended up getting because it was you know Power Rangers type so uh, I think it's like Super Hawk Sentai or something along those lines but uh, it, could, oops, it could be a good indication that we might be getting those Rangers as a set oh as I said I won't uh, swap out the hands because the pegs it's very cold here and the pegs might be a little stiff so all in all he's a really cool figure i do recommend picking him up um i didn't pick up the chun li at the time which i think i will probably go back and pick up the chun li figure because as this guy is pretty cool and she comes with a whole bunch of accessories as well i think i'll probably go back and collect get her as well so there you go guys i hope you enjoyed this quick video review for the ryo figure uh, as always, please feel free to like, comment and subscribe to my channel and I hope you enjoy this video. Cheers, guys.